So some of you might have seen it already, but we're actually getting a new brick skin for stone buildings in Rust. But of course, whenever we have something new that's getting added to the game, we always have to look at how it's going to impact the game. And recently, a lot of people have been looking at the recent additions to Rust to see if they're actually going to be pay to win or not. So in this video, I'm quickly going to take a look at this new brick skin because I think there are some aspects of it that could be pay to win. But one thing that's important to remember with this video is that this skin is still work in progress. Of course, it's subject to change. So the skin might come out in the future and this video could be completely wrong. But first, I'm just going to show some screenshots here to show just how good it looks. Just as Aesthetically, it looks amazing. Despite any advantages a skin might give you in the game, I think it still might be worth it just to buy it for how it looks. This is easily my favorite building skin I've seen so far. But I'm going to show you this video I found here on Reddit that shows you the difference between the default stone skin, the adobe stone skin, and the brick stone skin. And you'll notice there's one big difference with the brick skin compared to the other ones, that being that there's these little edges on the side. And you can see in this video, the player actually put the roof next to windows. You can see it adds a little bit of peaks that you could have through a window. And so far from what I've heard, you cannot shoot through the bricks that are going through the window. So basically upgrading to the brick skin actually allows you to have maybe a little more cover through a window. It might allow you to get some more interesting peaks on your base. And here's another image you can see from like a first person point of view when you're holding a gun, the kind of angles you can have with this skin. One thing I see people using this for is probably crouch spamming, you know, standing up, shooting their gun, crouching, getting behind those angles, which is something that people can already achieve with current things in the game. And because of this, I already see a lot of people saying this is pay to win. And while I agree this might be slightly, very minor pay to win. I think something that's important to remember is that this isn't going to impact your game that much. Sure, it might be a little annoying that the only way you can access this is by paying money, but at the same time, I really don't see this impacting players' experiences that much. And like I said, I don't see this making a big difference. And one more thing I think we should mention is just how these pay to win skins, quote unquote, actually aren't too bad. When you look at other games, there's a lot of other pay to win mechanics. And to think about in Rust, we've been getting free content for seven years without really any pay to win stuff. So I think having maybe a slightly better peek on a skin you can buy and stuff like that really is not a big deal. But of course, this video is a discussion. I want to hear what you guys have to think about this skin. If you think it's going to make a big difference or not. Now, once this skin actually comes out, if they don't change it majorly, I see a lot of interesting base designs coming out. And if I see any crazy base designs with this new roof skin, I'll definitely make sure to make a video on it. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.